All right, what is going on, everyone? 1987, from the Walt Disney Company, Adventure Game Development System, 8687 Sierra. But yeah, this is Al Lowe's baby. And Mark Crow. Nice to see such familiar names. Scott Murphy. Roberta Williams. This is like Sierra royalty. All came together to make... Hold on. Can we stop this music for just a second so I can... We can talk about the people behind this game. That's weird they give you like a timer. I never noticed that before. Version 2.0. 6.14.87. You don't want to play anything before version 2.0. Oh, let me tell you. But anyway, Allo, famously the creator of the Leisure Suit Larry series. Um, Roberta Williams was involved, famously the creator of the King's Quest series. We did Mystery House not too long ago on this channel. And Mark Crow, Scott Murphy, the two guys from Andromeda. So really, Sierra royalty here, who all came together in the mid-80s uh, after the Disney film came out. And I guess they were uh, approached to make a game version of it, and it's a fantastic game, and I thought we would uh, we'd give it a go. So let's, um, no backstory, if you've seen the film, I think we can change the speed here, F10. If you've seen the film, um, then you probably have some idea what's going on. If not, just hang out. This is going to be fun. Let's open this. I like this. We only have the keyboard to work with, and there's no typing. It's just three keys. There's inventory. There's use item, and there is do everything. So let's do something in the form of opening the door. And let's talk to this guy. Hello, sir. Do I need to engage the conversation? Taryn, it's time for you to feed our favorite pig, Henwin, says old Dalbin. Take good care of her. She is a very special animal. <laughs> That's code for Thanksgiving is coming up. Don't worry, Dalbin. I know the score. What do we got in here? Grab this knapsack, an apple, it certainly looks delicious, and enough bread for three meals, and a water flask. I'm not sure if we ever actually end up using any of the food. I guess we eat it at some point. I don't remember. Um, this is a Sierra game, so what do we always do in a Sierra game? We save early and we save often. Um, I'm not really sure where this is saving. It looked like it was saving to the root of my hard drive. That's weird. Let's just call it Selfie WB because I'm going to embarrass myself if I try to uh, spell his name even though I just saw it. Yeah, let's go feed the pig. The Black Cauldron almost bankrupted Disney. I find that hard to believe, but I'll take your word for it, Robert. That's crazy to think. I don't remember that much about the film. I remember the book. I think I read the book at some point. Let's, there's Henwin. Looks like a pretty ordinary pig, if you ask me. Ow, the goat thinks you want to play tag. <laughs> Look at, he's got that sneaky old smile on his face. The goose is just hopping around. All right, let's open up the shed. Ah, oh, dried corn. Hopefully, Henwin's cool with that. He's not picky. What pig wouldn't love corn? What magical pig wouldn't love corn? Fallen off its hinges. You'll have time to fix it someday. Or you'll have to fix it someday when you have time. I mean, this is all I do. This is my only job is to feed this pig. What else? I don't have time to feed. All right, whatever. So now we get to go into our sweet inventory. There's our knapsack, our bread, our apple, corn, and the water flask. Let's give the corn to our buddy, Henwin. Here we go. Henwin certainly enjoys eating. He does. Oh, no. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Close the gate. Ah, uh, yeah. It's broken anyway. Hi, Henwin. You are my favorite pig. Let's ignore the fact that there are no other pigs in this game. All right. You lead. I'll follow. In the Dalbin's hut here. I gotta tell you, when I was a little kid, and this is like one of the first games I played... Man, this game, like, scared the heck out of me. Something's wrong with Henwin. Like, I don't know if this is actually scary for most kids, or if I was just a especially scarable child. As Henwin places her snout in the water, she enters a trance. A vision appears above the bowl. Yeah, the Horn King scared the crap out of me. Hmm. 
<laughs> and Edwin just looking up. It's like, eh? <laughs> Edwin's not too sure about these visions or the Horn King. Terran. Oh, that's not hard to spell. What am I talking about? You've never known about Henwin's magic powers, but unfortunately, the time has come for me to tell you. Henwin can show us many things that happen in faraway places. Through her vision, she is now telling me a terrible tale. Can't take her to Vegas, can we? The Horn King, the most evil ruler of all. Pre- Predane? Predane? I'm Pridane? I'm sorry. Is searching for Henwin. He could force her to use her visions to reveal the location of the Great Black Cauldron. He probably already had the idea to take her to Vegas. If he finds the Black Cauldron, he will have unspeakable power. Terran, you must take Henwin to the hidden cottage of the Fair Folk. They are our only hope to keep her from the Horned King. Good luck, Terran. Take this coil of rope and hurry before the Horned King's power becomes unstoppable. I'll stay here and read this book. Okay, Dalvin. All right, so now we have Henwin in our uh, our care here. I like this trough here. It makes me think of uh, King's Quest One <laughs> when you look at a similar sized trough, and uh, the hero thinks to himself, "Well, this is the entire town's water supply. No one, no wonder no one ever comes to visit." All right, Taryn. That's a cool name. I like that name. All right, so this also scared me as a child. Um, the Horn King, one of the Horn King's helpers, can swoop in and kidnap Hanwen, so we have to be very careful. It's going to drastically change the direction this game will go in the context of this game. It's not a big deal. It's like probably two more <laughs> extra minutes of work. But uh, anyway, that's all our stuff. Let's check this whole musical loot inside the hole. You can always take the loot and run. <laughs> There's that aloe sense of humor. Or maybe it was one of the guys from Andromeda. Who knows? Can I play the loot? Oh, we didn't take it yet. We took it out. All right. We play it? <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. After a brief tuning, the loot sounds better. All right. Oh, okay. It is better in an ear-piercing kind of way. Da, da. For an assistant pig keeper, you make beautiful music. That's right. Even Henwin seems to like it. Look at her. She's very happy. Her leg looks a little in need of uh, some sort of care, but I'm sure she's fine. The, the very basic color palette, I think, is kind of beautiful the purple sky there in the background and the the midnight blue so a little trick to make sure that Henwin doesn't get snatched up is to stay near the edge of the screen so we can always yep one of the horned king's evil gwent thanes i'm telling you, scared the crap out of me as a kid we're not gonna let it catch little Henwin though that's why we stay on the edge of the screen my throat is dry. Oh, gosh. I should have gotten some at the, uh... Again? Oh, no. Ah! Suck it. We don't have time right now, goat. You're working for the Horn King, aren't you? Let's fill up our, uh... Our water skin. Let's pull this out, see if this works. There we go. And let's... Can we drink some, too? Water. And just like... Oh, okay. Now we do have more. All right, we're all filled up for our journey. The world's not that big. But, uh, so it shouldn't take too long to get to... There's something under the bridge here. That's a different game, I'm pretty sure. You wonder what the future holds. <laughs> We've never been off like those two screens. Imagine your whole life spent on two different screens. That's Taryn's life. Up to this point. Yep. He's trying. He's just not going to get, because I know the screen trick. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's a secret cottage hidden behind some bushes. We just got to find it. 
This is the same trick you could use in the first, uh... What? That didn't happen. <laughs> and it just drops us off. Alright, I call shenanigans on that. If that was like a legitimate grab, I would give that to the Gwynthaint. But, uh... No. It was like a good 10 feet above us. So... Plus, I save often and early, so nice try. Let's keep saving often and early. So let's find. I forgot that, like, I'm thinking of, um, I guess, like, Mickey Mouse Capade, where it grabs Minnie or somebody and, like, tries to take her off the screen, but, like, you still have time to get off the screen. So, uh, yeah. Not the case in this one. It grabs you both, drops you off, and takes the pig away. We're not going to let that happen. We got the loot. This map's not that big. <laughs> it's kind of amazing that I haven't found it yet. Kind of amazing didn't manage to grab us. The, the trees are so scary. They're so creepy. Not a good place to dive in. Yeah, they just... Ugh, it's so creepy. Yeah, I'm not trying to get in the water. Oh my gosh, leave us alone. You did not grab us! I think this is the most I've ever gotten grabbed by that creature. This is kind of amazing. Hey, Roar. Trying to deliver this pig to safety. Alright. We were just one screen away. We were going the wrong way. So this is kind of snaky. It's back here. By which you mean it's pretty easy. Oh, uh, no, that's not the right screen. Yeah, we got us a knife here. It's kind of risky, even like walking in the middle of any of these screens. Let's grab this dagger. Heck yeah. That's, that sign just says no trespassing. I'm thinking of <laughs> the King's Quest 2 when... Uh, when it's an advertisement for Space Quest. The northeast corner of more of a marsh. It's a dismal, gloomy swamp with dangerous bogs. Let's have that dagger ready in case that uh, creature comes back for us. All right, I got it this time. Use your dagger, buddy. Stab it. Stab it right now. All right. It's not his fault. He's never been off those two screens. He doesn't know about daggers and violence. It's kind of beautiful. We can go see the Horned King right now if we go north there. There's a swamp. Impossible to cross. Let's not go that way. We will sink under the, uh, the ooze if we try going that way. Probably 15 screens. What a what a hitbox. I know. Even Dead by Dale would be like, come on, man. That's not cool. I do kind of respect how this uh, dragon-like creature can go on literally any screen. Not like the witches or the thieving elves of the first King's Quest. <laughs> Dabman's like, do you want me to do it, man? <laughs> it's like, I, I wanted to read this book, but you're clearly struggling here, Taryn. We will need, we will go through there later once we have the special word. Heck yeah, Roar, man. I like it. It's also entirely possible that that one, like, very bushy area, I just, like, went the wrong way, and that could have been it. <laughs> Can I get directions, Dalvin? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And we're hungry because we've been traveling so much. That's just more evidence that I've never taken this long 
to get to the hidden cottage. What should we eat? We haven't done anything. Let's just go back to LPWB, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, we got to get back to those bushes. All right. I think... I think I just had to go right here. I'm going to smack my face if that's all I had to do. Oh, my God. There's the smack. All right, you emerge from the brambles into a clearing with a strange underground house. All right, we made it. I was about to type knock, but that's not how this game works. Open the door and peek inside. Henwin recognizes Gwistol as one of the fair folk and a long-ago visitor to Care Dalbin. She is happy to see her old friend. We made it, everybody. As I said, it's not the end of the world if the Horn King gets Henwin right away. It just makes things a bit more complicated. Welcome, Terrence, is the fairy. I am Gwistol, one of the fair folk and a friend of Dalbin. He told us to expect you and asked us to hide Henwin from the Horned King. Congratulations, you've delivered Henwin to safety and successfully fulfilled Dalbin's request. But since you left care of Dalbin, the Horned King behaves even more fiendishly. <laughs> what, five minutes ago? My king, Idaleg, contacted Dalbin seeking his help. Dalbin now wants you to locate King Idaleg and help him in whatever way you can. Since the fair folk are continually moving, I can't tell you where they are, but I can tell you their magic password. Boom! <laughs> Use it wisely. It's clearly this aloe was just smashing his keyboard and seeing what came out. Or maybe that's from the movie and that's canon, I don't know. Good luck, Terran of Care Dalbin. Whistle flies to the little door. Bye, Henwin. Literally all Henwin has to do Henwin smiles goodbye as Gwistle takes her through his secret passage. That's cute. As much as a pig can smile. I think you just stay right here because if the Horn King has half as much trouble as I had finding the place, yeah, they'll never find you. All right. I think there's a cookie in here for us. We deserve a treat after this. All that work. All right. So we got some cookies. We got an apple. And we have bread. I don't want to eat the wrong thing because someone else might want one of the things in our inventory. I think that's all we want here, though. So let's leave here. And now that we have the secret password, I know exactly where to use this. Now it's just a question of can I find it. That is always the question in this game. Let's just fall over the water. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that dragon creature anymore. And we can go swimming without worrying about uh, Henwin following us. I think it's straight down here, basically. Good luck, surprise. And maybe we'll eat that bread. No one's going to want bread. Alright. So I think we get our first death here. Not to get too dark, but... Oh no, as the turbulent water pulls you under, your last thoughts are of your beautiful home, Care Dalvin. Wow. Dark. Sorry, Terran. You've failed in your quest. The Horn King now has the Black Cauldron. An evil rule is pretty in Tane. <laughs> like, it's not that da 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 From, uh, I don't know, what was that? King's Quest 2? Something like that? Where it seems super sad, and they're like, ah, whatever, let's have a good time. All right, let's speak the magic word. Boom, Fusigma. You say the word exactly as Crystal taught you. The rock besides the waterfall sinks into the stream, revealing a hidden cave. Uh huh. I could still fall and die here, so let's be careful. You enter the cave. It's pitch black in here. Oh, you're falling! Doesn't look very pitch black, but okay. Bunch of fairies. And just who might... Who is falling into my kingdom? Ah! Shouts King Adelog of the Fair Folk. That waterfall was supposed to keep evil out. What drowned me a second ago. 
Hello. My name is Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Kara Dalbin, you reply. You requested help from Dalbin the Mystic. I am here to assist you. <laughs> he sent a pig handler in his stead. You? It's a great Dalbin. Oh, I was joking, but yeah, he is ripping on our status. An assistant pig keeper at that. <laughs> I can't believe it. If you truly represent Dalbin, you would offer me something to show your respect. How about a cookie? How about this rope that he gave me? Be gone! Oh, wow. So much for that. Well, what else do we have we can give him? Ah, oh, I didn't save there. What do we have? That's a good question. The, we have a dagger. We have cookies. Really nothing... I think that we can, like, give this guy is going to prove anything to him. He might like some music. Kings in these games always like music. <sighs> oh, rude. Just busting out that loot and starting to jam. What do you think, though? But I gave you the... But I think he wants the loot, but he's just... I think the timing was just awkward. We'll get this. Trust me, we'll get this. Show me your respect. All right. Let's try Terran Terran 3. And let's try the loot. Offer the loot. Here you go. Thank you for your gift, Terran. You represent Dalvin quite admirably. I found it in a tree. <laughs> I'm so glad it's really you. Your remarkable Henwin is... Oh, what, just because I gave him something that I found, it's me? It's not really exactly proof, but... That's on Dalvin for not giving us, like, any kind of ID or anything like that. Gwistel brought her through the secrets underground tunnel. Since the last saw Dalvin, the Horn King has dispatched legions of warriors to find the Black Cauldron. If he succeeds in finding it, he'll destroy our civilization. Wow, stakes just got raised. Terran, I beg you, find the Black Cauldron and destroy it! I give you this magic mirror and a fair folk flying dust for five flights. Wow. Thank you, your majesty. All right. Why don't you try using your new flying dust, Terran? Sprinkle it whenever you want to start or stop flying. Five flights, you say. Let's try it out. Good luck, Terran. Here we go. You're floating in midair. You can fly. I'll do my very best. All of a sudden, he's the nerdy character from the. They, someone replaced the rock. I guess you gotta have security while I'm in there. <gasps> it's Gurgi! Boomfs! We gotta go. Let's go talk to. No! No, Terran! As he drowns. Oh my god. Good thing I'm saving compulsively like a madman. All right. Make that four flights is right. Magic word. No Gurgi this time. That's disappointing. Where's my water? There we go. Gurgi? Might ask it. Just keep going on and off the screen until we see him. Gotta make a friend. No? Where are you, buddy? There you are. Hi, Gurgi. Can't talk to him? Hi, I'm Gurgi. Do you have any munchings and crunchings for me? Maybe, Gurgi. Hold on. Would you like... An apple? I think it's canon. <laughs> Thank you for the tasty apple, kind master. Gurgi, now Terran's friend for life. 
got a Manu kind of uh, vibe to him. If only making friends were that easy. I'd carry apples on me at all times. And I'm housing that apple. Sounds good, Gurgi. So what's your deal? My old friend <laughs> of five seconds. Cool. All right. Made a BFF in Gurgi. Awesome. All right. So now that we can fly, where's... <laughs> hey, Gurgi. You looking for more apples or something? Hello, Brave Master. Gurgi still Terran's friend for life. Wow. Even one minute later. It's amazing. So we can fly across the swamp now. We can also go straight to the castle. That used to especially scare the crap out of me. What about this game didn't scare the crap out of me when I was a kid? Let's be honest. Nice not having to worry about that uh, flying creature anymore. Is there anything under this? There's a wallet, okay. Filled with a food wallet. I remember the food wallet. There we go. We didn't even have to eat our bread. Where's our food wallet? Nice. What kind of food are we talking here? It's like steak? Lobster stuffed with tacos? What are we working with, magic food wallet? All right, I think it might be a bit soon to cross the swamp because we we need something to trade spoiler alert but that is where the black cauldrons but we they're not just going to give it to us the keepers of the cauldron so we're going to need to get something to trade and i think our best bet will be in the castle if this were perils of rosella these trees would pick us up and we'd be dead Speaking of creepy Sierra games, this part always was uh, annoying. I was a kid trying to find the way around. That's not the way to get around there. I think we need to go. It's a bit deceptive to go down and around. I think we have to go down and around. Might need to go down up this way is it really as simple as just cutting through here hmm the entry point is snaky there it is Taryn seeing this all in first person. We're the ones that have reason to be all flummoxed. We made it. I like that that itself is a puzzle. Taryn 5. Alright, so we got that handy rope that Dalvin gave us. There we go. Sometimes it attaches to the left, sometimes it attaches to the right. Don't look now. This is where it's nice to not have to worry about a mouse. We're not there yet, though. Fingertips, fingertips clutch the tiny crevices in the rock face. Okay, well... Gratefully, we're not done yet, Taren. His uh, whenever he goes left and right, his hands always look like he was like shaking maracas to me when I was a kid. <laughs> Can't not see maracas. All right, I think we got some points just for that. Ooh. The lightning frightens you and makes you wish you were back in Caradalbin. Yes, we get it. You like your home air. 
your home screen, basically, your home two screens. No time for that now, Taryn. So colorful. Everything about this, even the nasty green water, which I probably won't drink. Speaking of drinking, do we have any water left over? Nice. We might have infinite water at this point. I don't know. All right. This point, uh, this part is kind of, uh, I don't know. It's, it's hit or miss. I don't think there's anything we can give to these crocodiles. Like, we don't have any meat on us or anything. Do we have, like... Do they eat cookies to crocodiles? Just one cookie. And quickly break your promise. Tearing the cookie monster. Uh, Bread? Do they like bread? Yeah, you're not supposed to eat the stuff. I don't think... I think it's literally just... You need to... Oh, oh my God. Way too close for comfort. That's how you do that. The Catholic guards are dropping stones. Watch out. They don't know you're here. This is just something they do. To pass time. All right, mine the smooth rocks. Let's get a new Terran here. Terran 6. Oh no! That's why we have Terran 6. Okay. Alright, hope you grabbed that dagger earlier, game player. Because this is exactly where you need it. To slash through these vines. Cleverly, you slip through the forgotten window into the Horn King's castle. It's pretty clever, I guess. I like all of a sudden, assuming they were throwing rocks to kill us because they knew we were here. Now, all of a sudden, they just forget we were here and they're like, whatever. So note this little uh, tapestry here that we can hide behind. Oh. Scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> My brother used to pop out and make that sound because he knew it scared me. He would hum that and tackle me. <laughs> And then I would yell out in vicinity, and then I would get in trouble. Alright, I guess this is where we're going here. So we're headed down. Again, very easy to fall to your death. It's not unlike Dracula's castle in King's Quest 2. Let's get our bearings here. What are we doing on this floor? Uh-oh. We hide in there? No? Okay. I like... He just gives up. He's like, ugh, a whole screen. I'm not going over there. So, man. Oh, oh no, he caught us. We're in the dungeon now. He took everything. He'll stay in this dungeon until you rot, pig boy. That's assistant pig boy to you. So I think we're just like... I think maybe we're supposed to get caught, but let's just like... Let's reload real quick. Yeah, Spiral Staircase, a staple of early Sierra games. Too true. Alright, let's... Let's go Terran 7 here. We're pushing the boundaries of the save off and save early. One of these times he won't be here, right? Maybe not. Maybe he's always here. Maybe we're supposed to get locked up. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's go back to Terran 6. This is where all our saves actually are useful. All right, so this is where our stuff would be if we'd gotten caught. We haven't gotten caught. That guy doesn't even like bother capturing us. I think he just kills us and eats us or something. So that's dark. 
He serves this up to the Horn King. So I guess upstairs if we had gone through, and this is a dead end. I'm just curious. What is, is this thing going to catch me? <laughs> Caught you until the henchman appears and marches you off to the dungeon. That's cute. I thought it was more like a like a clock or something, but no, that's that's alive. That's where he chills out when he's not trying to catch us. He's got a little his own little winery here. All right, here's the front door. Quit. All right, come on, man. <sighs> I think we need to come back when we have something else. But I think, if I remember correctly. We go between a couple of these giant vats. That might not be the one. It might be this one. Yep. There's a hole in the floor. Garbage chute. Uh-oh. Where the heck are we now? There's a beautiful young girl here. Oh. Whoa. She's coming on strong. Hello, you must be a prince or a great warrior. Don't tell her. Ixnay on the assistant A. Igpay. Obj. My pig Latin's a little off. <laughs> pig Latin. I'm Princess Emily, and this is my magic bauble. Where is it? Hi. I'm Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin. You respond. Come on, she doesn't know. You could at least say her head pig keeper, Taryn. Come on, man. In his defense, he's never seen a woman in his life, so. That's too bad. I was hoping for a great hero to get me out of this dismal place. Oh, well. <laughs> Might as well hang out, though, right? Where are we, anyway? The last I remember, I was in the wine cellar upstairs. Why, we're far below the castle now. Even the dungeon is up from here. So if we get caught, sh I think she'll free us once. If we get caught in the dungeon, she'll uh, help us escape, I think. I might just be thinking of King's Quest VI and getting all of my games mixed up at this point. Entirely possible. I, too, am being held against my will. No, I mean, my, my, my job's okay. Dalvin pays me and everything. And Where'd that thing just go? I hate this place. I hope there aren't many rats here. Not that I really mind them, but they do jump out at one, so. Looks like there might be something hidden here. Wall. There we go. You push another block, and still another, and then you give up. You say, that's enough. I don't want to pry. This is the Horned King's private property. What do we got here? A burial chamber, exclaims Elmanwee. This must be the tomb of the great king who built this castle long ago. There is a metallic glint atop the coffin. Interesting. Look, Taryn. My bubble seems to have found another hole in the wall. Maybe I can escape. But not you. It's an old tunnel. I'm leaving this horrible place. Good luck on your quest. Don't wait for me. You, <laughs> I love that. Don't wait for me, Princess Ellen. Wait, you say. I'll find another way out of here. She's already gone, bro. She doesn't give two about you. What do we got here on the uh, coffin, though? Sword. Heck yeah. Let's get the magic word, magic sword. Hell yeah. Look at that. That's what it's all about. No longer so defenseless now. Who's assistant pig keeper now? Dalbin. Show up with that sword. Things are going to change once we get back to Care Dalbin. Care Terran, as they'll rename it. Alright, I don't think there's anything else down here, so let's hit this gargoyle and open the uh, trap door here. Yeah, that's where that lets out. Let's go Terran 9. Nice thing about the sword is, though... Well, wait for it. So we couldn't get to this screen before. I guess we need keys to open that door. 
Dang it. As I was trying to say, the nice thing about this sword. Get out of here. The henchman falls to the ground, stunned by your sword. Run, Taryn. Yes, because that's what a very sharp sword does. It stuns a man. <laughs> Nothing dazes me like a sharp sword to the temple. Heck yeah. All right. So now we should be able to... Let's see, these are the keys to... Oh, it's the cell. That's funny. We might need the cup, though. <laughs> Let's go get the cup. I like that we just come and go as we please, though. All right, we got our tin cup now. Sweet. Man. Free reign of the castle now. Throat is dry. And I'm hungry. All right. Let's hit up our magic. F uh oh. That was a tight window to work with there. Let's drink some water. Savor and just dazing that guy again with our magic sword. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that's okay. Uh, do the keys do anything with this door? Oh, they do. Who's this guy? Hello? What's your deal? My name is Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin, you say. May I assist you? You struggle with his ropes until you undo the knots. The prisoner speaks. Thank you, kind sir. I am Fluder, Flam, storyteller, minstrel, and bard, the great kings and all Prydane. The Horn King has kept me in prison for years in this cell. In return for granting me my freedom, I'd like to present you with this special harp. Sir, you may choose to remain here, but I intend to make my escape. Farewell, Assistant Pig Keeper Terran. I have a sword. You sure you don't want to, like... I like he's from the film. He had obviously a much bigger role. It's just like a cameo in this game, because I don't think we ever see him again. Quite honestly, until maybe the end. Let's go Terran 10. We're a little late to save this guy. Oh, well. Let's get that sword back out. Never know when you might need it. All right. So, before we head out, ah, he can't figure out the spiral staircase. Play more Sierra games, my man. Quit following me. It's obviously not working. I have a sword now. Doesn't keep much of a staff here, the Horn King, I have to say. It's really just this guy and the uh, little uh, dragon creature. There we go. Well, spying is in order. There's the Horn King, everyone. Oh my god. Creeper bows before the Horn King. So sorry, sire, but we cannot find the magic pig. The Horn King responds, Silence, you must find her. He's so doofy looking, the creeper, obviously. He's just like, Err, well, this is awkward. <laughs> that sounded serious. Like, shouldn't she go, if I were the Horn King's right-hand creeper, I'd snap to it after he said something like that. You leap from the balcony! <sighs> Creeper sees you. Run, Taryn! Can I just, like, stab him? Oh, uh, the powerful magic of the Horn King. That's convenient. Let's just walk out, then. <laughs> Horn King's like, oh, well, we probably should have stopped him. <laughs> he probably knew the way out of here. Or rather, he probably knew where, uh... Oh, come on, man. Probably knew where Henwin was. All right, so I think we can jump off of the balcony, but we can also swing a magic sword and slice the chain to drop the drawbridge. Which not only gives us a much more convenient way to get out of the castle, but now all these unwanted solicitors can just easily <laughs> enter the castle and uh, just kind of annoy the Horn King incessantly, which feels pretty good if you ask me. Selling them 
vacuum cleaners he doesn't need. So this is not the side we want to go on. Make sure you go back on the side that the rope is. Otherwise, you'll be kind of disappointed when you navigate the little walkway here. Oof. Getting risky with these number keys here. Still creepy. Come on, we just easily left that place. We dominated that castle. Slapped that, uh, that helper dude around. Creeper looks all doofy. We messed up his drawbridge. He's gonna have to have like a specialist. He's going to have to pay for like a drawbridge specialist to come out. And those guys aren't cheap to fix that. But in the meantime, yeah, like I said, he's going to be, how do we get down here? Just the same thing, yeah. Make sure you use the diagonal down key there. Otherwise, I think you're gonna have a bad time. All right, so there's literally, <laughs> it's not a long game. There's literally only one part of this map that we have not been to yet. So let's head to the swamp. Why don't we? If I can find my way out of here. That's always a big if. Alright. Getting back will be a lot smoother next time. No music in this game. Very little music, I should say. Sometimes I feel like I should play the loot just to uh, spice it up a bit. But right now, let's try our flying well let's see what happens if we just tried caulking the wagon oh no you're sinking in the mud of the slimy marsh <laughs> wow that was fast evil evil rains now let's fly with our magic dust <laughs> there's no need for you to fly off in that direction okay as the spell wears off you head for solid ground Huh, wonder what this secluded house on this swamp island, what secrets it might be holding. You cautiously open the door to this strange house. Got a chest there, but let's wait on the chest. Let's check out the full both screens. Holy, that's a whole mess of cauldrons. None of these cauldrons is the black cauldron you seek. All right, spoiler as much? Your throat is dry. My God. It's been like 20 minutes, Taryn. All right. Let's, uh, maybe the cauldron's in here. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh. Strange place to keep a bunch of frogs. A shrieking voice pierces the air. What's going on here? Who are you releasing our guests like this? Perhaps you should join them. Uh, Orwin, Ordu, and Orgok appear to be more than mildly upset with your thoughtlessness. They prefer to keep their formerly human guests in that chest. What are you, Baba Yaga disciples or something? Turning folks into frogs? I am Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalvin. Dalvin the Mystic has sent me on a quest to recover the evil black cauldron, which is missing from his land. Dalvin thought that you might have this cauldron. If so... I only hope that you would be kind enough to give it to me in the name of the great Dalvin. <laughs> More than a little naive. Silly pig boy, Owen responds with a cackle. You know little of the ways of witches. We never give anything away. We only bargain. The truth is, we may have no cauldrons. We may have a cauldron, or we may have the cauldron. But you needn't worry, because you'll never know, since you'll be a frog. Did they say, since you'll be a frog? Well, I know from playing Quest for Glory 1 that in this case, all you need to use is your magic mirror to give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh. <laughs> look, girls, when I look in this mirror, I'm beautiful. Duckling, we promise we won't turn you into a frog. We won't make you a frog, but we won't give up our cauldron for a mere mirror either. Not even a magic mirror. Goodbye, duckling. Too bad you'll never get your cauldron. 
So we made the wrong bargain. And it's funny they keep letting you play because we screwed up the game, right? I'm like, well, oh well. Let's see uh, if I can make it home in time for dinner. Have some bread out of that. Oh, we got that food wallet now. No, let's offer them something else. Oh, man, I hate to do it. But let's offer our sweet magic sword. It's my most prized possession. A sword with magic so powerful, it dazes anyone you stab in the face with it. Exactly what they want. There we go. We got the Black Cauldron, everybody. Hmm. Wonder why there's 40 points to spare. Like, I mean, it's not just putting it in his pants like a normal Sierra game. Now you have the Black Cauldron you've been seeking, but it won't do you any good. There's only one way to stop the evil power of the Black Cauldron, duckling. A living being must jump into the cauldron of its own free will. Unfortunately, anyone who does will never emerge alive again. Hee, <laughs> now you've lost your magic sword and have the cauldron, but there's nothing you can do to destroy it. I don't know, I've like cooked some stuff before that's been like a monster getting off and it's just completely ruined. Nah, I guess that's not going to get it done. Uh-oh. Gwithaint has seen the Black Cauldron. No, I'll just use my trusty... Oh, no. Magic word? Boom. <laughs> That's what I would say when... Why did it get so much smaller? I would say that when I lost the Cauldron and basically doomed the world. That's the equivalent of swearing in this game as far as I'm concerned. All right. We have to get that Cauldron back. Flying dust. Take us back to the castle. This is handy. Oh, okay. It, would, it really would be nice if we just fly all the way to the castle at this point. Hopefully, uh, the Horn King is going to have, like, dinner first. He's not going to go straight into taking over the world with the cauldron. It's always the ultimate flaw of these bad guys, you know? He has the cauldron. You know he does. See how fast that Gwithaint can fly. He should be taking over the world right now. Like, what? what is he doing? How am I still walking around? Oh, Horned King. I guess that cook's whipping up something good. A celebratory taken with the world via Black Cauldron stew or something. That would be appropriate. Yeah, I'm all about those petrified purple trees. Anything graphically in this game. All, what, 16 colors or whatever it's rocking? That's all it needs. Got your yellow and your pink and your red and your brown and your two grays. Two grays! You spoil us, Allo. Man, I didn't have to, like, do anything. That was really easy that time. You wonder if you will find the Black Cauldron inside the Horn King's castle. Maybe it's in his, like, his weekend getaway place. It's probably in the castle, Taryn. Come on. Idiot. I like that one bit of an animation on the, the putrid little waterfall there. Alright, so, well, I guess, you know what? I guess the front gate's still open, right? We don't have to go in the dangerous way this time. Yeah, he <laughs> still hasn't called his gate repair man. Maybe that's the first order of business. Maybe he's talking to him right now. Maybe that's why he hasn't started off with the cauldron yet. Even the servant's busy right now. Hunger, you say? Not a problem for a man with a magic food wallet. Heck yeah. Man, how stoked would this uh, cook be to have my magic food wallet? He'd never have to work another day in his life. Horn King would be like, I'm starving. And uh, that guy would just whip out the magic food wallet and be like, Yo, I slaved over this all day, sire. 
That's how I would play that. The Horn King Chef. He is the unsung hero of this game. Now I know, strictly speaking, we don't have to go up here. But we're going up here. Just the same. So we have to be careful because his uh that guard guy can catch us again. And we have no way to defend ourselves. Oh sire, isn't it about time to try out your new cauldron? <laughs> Talks like it's like a, like, like a new computer or gadget or something that he got. Sharper image. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I'm not using it to take over the world right now. All right. We're not going to do that. I am going to jump off as a big F you to the Horn King one last time. I missed the screen where he's like having the banquet with all the, all the dudes. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what I meant to go in there and have them have him do that. Weird. I'll send him give him a chance to talk this time. See ya. See ya. Okay. Well, I happen to know where all, this is all going down, so let's not waste any more time. No, it's a garbage shoot. Oh, we didn't see this door before. Let's go back to LPWB. Keep with the branding. Oh, oh my god. That, I think I have the wrong room here. Your throat is dry. It's about to be a little less dry and a uh, bit more. Yeah, well, okay. One way to deal with your thirst. Get thrown into the black cauldron. Melt? I don't know. So I don't know. How do we get to that top bit? Oh, can we open this thing here? The grate? Ah, there you go. Yep. So, yeah, Gurgi. Just with the film... If we try jumping in oh, on a selfless act, Gurgi just appears, just knows we're here. We've got two exchanges with him this entire game. Don't jump in the awful cauldron. Great Master has many friends. Gurgi has no friends. Gurgi will give his life for his friend Terran. Breaks my heart, man. Anyway, doesn't matter because we have the magic mirror and we can use it. Horn King, look here, you shout. You hold the mirror directly in front of the Horn King's eyes. He sees not his face, but his true inner self. What a dick. The vision of his evilness is so overpowering that he runs to the evil cauldron and leaps inside. It's a bit more of an overreaction compared to Death seeing his reflection in King's Quest VI. But there he goes. 215. The cauldron begins to tremble violently and emits a frightful roar, shaking the castle to its very foundations. The Horn King is destroyed! Heck, yeah. Where's Gurgi? The castle walls tremble and shake. Stones fall and pillars, pillars collapse around you. And yet we just stand there like an idiot. Oh, the force of the exploding cauldron throws you out of the Horn King's secret chamber into the moat. You grab a piece of floating wood and hang on for dear life. Ew, and that nasty water. What kind of chemicals? Do you think? Ew, and it runs right into like the water supply of the whole... Well, it's really just me and Dalvin. I think we're the entire population <laughs> of uh, this land, but that's fine. <laughs> Still, we don't want to be drinking that stuff. There's the cauldron bobbing around. Oh, there's the ladies. Well, young Terran, things are not working out as you expected, are they? Being a great hero is not all it's cracked up to be. Since you won't be using it, we've decided we want our cauldron back. We want to make Mandrick Moose. Mandrake Moose, even. Of course, we'll not just take it, we'll trade you for it. 
Terran, we offer you this magnificent warrior shield. With it, you can be the most courageous fighter in all of Pradain. There's no one here, so I think that would be kind of a waste. I'm good. That's where I would type, no deal. If you don't want that, how about this? A magic suit of impenetrable armor. It will protect you from all mortal weapons and you'll live to a ripe old age. So I just can't get stabbed? That's not a big deal. It's not like invincibility. It's not immortality. No. Give me something better. You drive a hard bargain, pig boy. <laughs> Here's our final offer. Give us the cauldron and you'll have your magic sword back. Heck yeah. I can take over the world with this thing. You once again hold your special sword in your hand. I guess it's yours, I don't know. Now a mortal, oh, okay. You live to a ripe old age. Fight many battles and, thanks to the sword, always emerge victorious. I just picture him like going into a bar and picking fights with guys. Just drinking a few and just being a dick, <laughs> pulling out that sword. But, uh, how come the king that we got this off of is dead if this sword grants immortality. Am I asking too many questions? There you go. 2.30 of 2.30. There's the guy we rescued. There's Henwin. There's Gurgi. There's uh, the I island we are, you know. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Prydain and your success with the Black Cauldron. How about that? All these people that I met exactly once. Congratulations, you've played a tremendous game. But what do you want? It was 1986. Games were simpler back then, but I still love the hell out of this game. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Stabman just smacks. I guess he's waving. Okay, I thought he was smacking his hands together. The end. Lovely. Good work, Allo. And Roberta Williams and Scott Crow and or Murphy and Crow and everybody, all the other people involved. Fantastic game. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. More fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I put up a new video or go live with one of these fantastic games. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.